Hey there, automotive enthusiasts and DIY mechanics. Today, we're diving into the world of crankshaft position sensors. You might be wondering, what's that? Well, buckle up, because this little device is the unsung hero of your engine. Imagine your car's engine as a rock band. The crankshaft sensor? That's the drummer, keeping the beat and making sure everything's in sync. When it starts missing beats, your whole engine concert goes out of tune. So, how do you know if your crankshaft sensor is more Keith Moon than Ringo Starr? Look out for these warning signs. One, your check engine light's throwing a party on your dashboard. Two, your car's doing the shimmy shake when it shouldn't be. Three, acceleration feels like you're wading through molasses. Four, your car's playing stop and go without your permission. Five, you're suddenly best friends with your local gas station attendant. If you're nodding along thinking, yep, that's my car, don't worry. We've got a solution that doesn't involve a mechanic or a hefty bill. Enter our trusty sidekick, the multimeter. Now, before we start, remember, cars come in all shapes and sizes, and so do crankshaft sensors. We've got two main types, the two-wire inductive sensor and the three-wire hall effect sensor. Don't worry, we'll cover both. For the two-wire sensor, set your multimeter to DC voltage. Fire up that engine. Connect the red lead to the signal wire and the black to the ground. Look for a reading between 0.3 and 1.5 volts. No reading? Houston, we have a problem. For the three-wire sensor, find your ground, reference and signal wires. Set your multimeter to DC voltage again. Turn the key, but don't start the engine. Check for voltage between the reference and ground wires. Now start the engine and check the signal wire. You should see about 300 millivolts. If not, your sensor might be ready for retirement. Remember folks, this is just a test. If your sensor's throwing a fit, it's best to replace it. Don't try to reset or repair it yourself. That's a job for the pros. So there you have it. You're now equipped to diagnose one of your car's most important sensors. Next time your car starts acting up, you'll know exactly where to look. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, drop a comment below if you've ever had a run-in with a cranky crankshaft sensor. Until next time, keep those engines purring.